Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they're having trouble with this part. And evidently they've deleted part of the O. And he was kind enough to send me the start. And there's a couple of problems I see with this, like the B's filled in. And I don't know what his plan is, but if you're going to engrave this, I'm going to show you another way you could do it to make this M look like part of the, you know, more like part of the letter. And so here we go. And I've got plenty of videos on how to do something like this. So we're going to select it all and it's less than an inch big. So we're going to make our nudge factor on for an inch. We're going to do the big letters first and I'm going to use the smart fill tool. And then I'm going to uh, nudge it down. So I'm just taking the parts of the M and as you can see, and there's that part right there he was having trouble with. I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside of the E, and then I'm gonna do these parts. And I think we need to do one more part of the E, because my way to look at it would be, you want it to still look like the letter. So we could do Well, let's back up. Let's just do this part because the other part's going to be taken up by the E. And then you can kind of see what that looks like. Now, we're actually going to use a different color just so we can see what we're doing. Let's use blue on the smart fill. And we're going to fill in the parts of the B that need to be filled in. So we're going to, I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to grab the Smart Fill tool, and I'm going to do that part of the B, nudge it down, do that part of the B, that part of the B, that part of the R, maybe get that part. That might have already been joined. So anything you do, I've already done that part. I'm just going to delete that, grab the C, we need part of the, this part of the U. And in just a second, you'll see what I'm talking about. So this way you can, uh, don't have to delete any lines. Uh, to me, it's a little bit easier. Just do all the parts of the E. The T. And the, whoop, grab the, got the wrong one. We'll just delete that. And we need this part of the T almost there. And I'm just keeping my hand on the arrow keys to nudge it down. Let's see what that looks like. So now we need this part of the A, this part of the N, and that part of the N. And then that way you can kind of see what it's going to look like. We still need two parts of the C. That's why I did it in different colors so it could kind of stand out. So we'll get Smart Field Tool back and we'll do that part of the E. I must have missed this whole, whole letter. And we need that part of the C. And I actually go ahead and do this part of the B maybe this part of the B and that part of the B. That way, if you use two different colors, you can kind of see. Now, it'd be personal preference whether you wanted that like that or like that. I think that probably looks better uh, engraved. So we'll just delete that. Now we can take all the color, and it doesn't matter, you can leave them blue, but we're gonna select all that and left click the mouse black. That way, that's what it's going to look like in gray. I would, if the person that you're doing this for, I would actually maybe scoot this B over a little bit. And I actually missed one part of the, the M I can see. So let's get back to the black smart fill tool. And right there.
I don't know, that'd be personal preference. But everything else looks good. I don't like it because it doesn't have an outline around that. Um, and that could be fixed. Let's let's just nudge that out of the way. And de depending on, whoop, got the wrong part. Depending on how big you made your contour, that would really work. But what you could do is let's take this and break this apart. And let's grab that O and let's nudge it over. And now let's contour it to the outside. Go to contour. I don't know how big his contour is. Let's try this. That's, I need to go to the outside and that was too big anyway. So let's go 0 0.01, whoop, 0 0.01. That looks pretty good. Then we could go up to object, break contour apart, grab just the black. So if you don't ever know, you can nudge it down. And then we can fill in. Hopefully that's going to work. We might have to put both these up there. Yeah, we are. And now we're just going to grab, I'm a little bit confused. We just want this center part of this A. Nudge that down. Still don't have a line around it. Um, that would actually work, but uh, we could back up here and take that part of the M and redo it. Now you have, whoop, hit the Smart Fill tool again. Now you have a line around that. We need a little bit more of that A, like right there. I think it's this, nope. I know what part it is. It's this part right here. Let's see how that looks. It's a little bit funny because I made my contour a little bit thicker maybe, but that'll work if you look at it from a distance. And it's just personal preference when you want to fill in the O. But what I was saying on the B, I'd maybe move this B out a little bit to make it stand off that part of the M. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.